So today I'm documenting the three ways that I know how to make minotauri slash death steppy kind of bases. Exciting world of fantasy. All right, so I have the three ways laid out here in this project. You can see in Ableton, I have a granulizer, I have a serum patch, and a working in audio for another type of bass. So I'll go through, I'll play each one of these, and then I will kind of talk about uh, how they work. So here's the first one. This is the bass made out of mostly just audio, out of a bounced growl. And here is the granulizer growl. And finally, we have the one in the serum patch. These ones I'm not as good at. I usually don't use serum or any kind of VST to make these kind of bases. I usually work either inside of the granulizer or with audio. So this is the best that I could do, but I thought I did pretty well. So there you go. They're all kind of, you know, that wall of noise kind of gritty sound that we're going for. So if we look at the first one, this right here, I have, I took a standard kind of dubstepy growl. Here is the original waveform I worked with. I turned off all of the effects. So I took a bass that's, I think it was in quarter notes. Um, and then I stretched it out pretty far to get some of these like long drawn out kind of noises and little artifacty things. Thought that was pretty cool. And then I added a Screamer, which is one of Ableton's, uh, one of Ableton's distortions. I added two of them, different settings. One is on the blues and one is on the boost preset. I added some of my usual go-to plugins, such as uh, Agra Lunar, which is a granulizer. Uh, and I move, bumped it up to 20 grains. I like the way this granulizer sounds. It gives a real gurgly kind of thing that I like. Um, I transposed it down three steps, uh, played around with the duration just till I had something I liked. And I, of course, changed it to the key of F. What's nice about this one is you can set the key. Ooh, listening to that does not sound pretty. Um, and then a trick that I've been trying out recently that I learned from Barely Alive is three OTTs, it's the sweet spot that they said. Um, and then I have just a, an EQ and a serum on here. Okay, there we go. I have a serum. Turn that on. Uh, and then there's some some rough uh, EQing. Uh, and then what I did is I just like to use sections. I would like go in and cut out, you know, a section like that. And so I'll take different parts, go into here. And if you set this to loop, you can move this around. And then so I'll play with that until I find patterns that I like of different parts of the waveform. Um, Cause it's so compressed, a lot of different sounds will come out of all the quiet stuff. So even the tail ends of the sounds will have something uh, useful or cool in there. It'll give you a different sound than uh, something else. And then moving over to the granulizer bass. This one I've been doing a lot of and I really enjoy. So it's the gran granulator in Ableton. And you can go in here, throw any waveform in here. Um, I can't remember what this is. This is just a random bass from a pack I got off Splice. Um, and then so I set the grain. I made sure to turn the release off because it'll just keep repeating and looping the, the small little bit you chose if you don't. And so when I did that, I got this. And then, and then from there, it's a lot of the same. Uh, with an EQ, a pre-EQ, this sometimes if you move around, you can get different.
essentially this will let you alter the input that you're adding into all this other stuff, which again is two more amps. Ooh, look at that. And then I have Assume Effects, which is a dimension for some space, a little more distortion and some compression, and then of course an EQ. And then of course coming up with different durations and different patterns then get you like if you're shorter ones you get you know your guns. Let's play you know, longer ones you can get like rally kind of stuff. All that all that fun stuff. And then move on to the serum. I'm noticing as I go a lot of this is more on the effects. The source can almost be anything at this point. Um, as long as you just kind of play around with the input and looking for like tones that you like. A lot of this is more continuing to shape and just make that fuller, crazier sound. So in Serum, I just made this crazy growly thing with a couple different monster waveforms and a high pass filter, a little bit of noise, mirrored it, and I modulated the wave table position and the mirror, added an EQ, I pre-EQ'd everything so I can push certain frequencies into all the effects, distortion, compressor, and a combs filter to kind of add some more high-end fun stuff. And then put it through pretty much the same similar chain that I put a lot of it through. The amp, the OTTs, another amp afterwards. So let me pull back. So you have the screamer and the OTTs and another screamer, which is the heavy. I really like the heavy preset. Um, and then an EQ. And then at the end, uh, serum effects with some reverb and some hyperdimension to add some more space and everything to it. Well, that's how I got that. So this is the start of three different ways that I know how to make minatory basses. Um, you have several options. A lot of it, in my experience, comes down to um, the distortion and compression that you put a sound through. You can go super extreme, you can go super light on the effects. I think one of the major things that I've taken away, at least in sound design here, is the EQ before a lot of effects and the EQ after a lot of effects. One for a sound design EQ and another one for a cleanup kind of EQ. So yeah, at this point, this is what I know, and I hope somebody got something useful out of this. Hey guys, this is Azada from the future! Hey, editing it here. If you guys know of any different ways to make minatory basses, drop a link in the comment, maybe some tutorials, or tell me down below how you do that. Um, I'm always willing to learn. I was a little um, anxious from making this video. Um, I'm not the best producer, so putting myself out there has been a struggle, but I think this is the best way for me to learn, and I'm just working with what I got. So if you guys can share anything, let me know down below what you got, send me some links, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I'll see you guys around.